Hex. Yeah. Bloodweiser. So you guys ready to do oh. this? Oh, yeah. yeah. Do this thing. All righty. Oh, I should probably grab the beer. Yeah. <laughs> That's a probably good idea. Probably a good idea. Yeah, start recording. Oh, shit. I forgot my beer. <laughs> oh, oh, let me open this magical beer. Uh, Keep in yeah. mind, cold in the garage. How's everybody doing? Oh, yeah. good. Doing good, good. man. Good. Yeah, Very good. good. We're all back Wait together. To, waiting for the am, amber throat tickler. Yeah. Amber, amber throat. <laughs> um, <What? laughs> uh, so <laughs> just before we do this really quickly, uh, I got everybody a game or a, a thing, a gift. I didn't get you a game. No. Yes. <laughs> uh, I I'm sorry. I, 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 I don't know you. what this is. Anyway, uh, Jared and Dave already opened theirs, but Aaron wasn't around. But, so Aaron, you should open yours. All right, make this nice and as clean as I physically can opening this because I am not. Why is my Discord not showing? Let me help me. Uh... Oh, oh that's why. yeah. Hi. Nice. I... Shadow of War. Nice. All oh, it's right. a bit of just... Yeah. I I really like the game series. I just need to really. I figured it was maybe more. Go... more. I figured maybe, maybe he'll play something that's more mainstream like Shadow of War. Because like the last time I got well, you, I, you didn't get into so much. So I'm hoping maybe this one will be something. And you played the first one, so. Yeah, I enjoyed the first one. I, I've also been playing Guardians of the Galaxy. I got that as a Christmas present. Oh, yeah. oh my god, no, that was so amazing. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Well, this so is not good. that. This is not that show. This is a different show. This is the show. This is the this Couch is Co-Hop show. where we drink a beer every week. Yeah. And we talk about that beer. And we tell you about that beer. You watch us drink that beer. If you're on uh, Twitch, you can you know watch us on Couch Co-op slash or Twitch slash Couch Co-op. We're live right now, and you can come by and talk to us, or you can hear it on uh, podcast platforms like iTunes, Spotify, Google Music, Google Play, Amazon Music. Yeah, yeah there you go. All those things. Pretty much everywhere and anywhere. And uh, yeah, we haven't recorded in a couple weeks, right? Yeah, it's been no. a little bit. So yeah, it's been we, a while. Yeah. we had Christmas, a couple under I mean, our belt. The way, didn't it? Holiday, the holidays and the new year kind of snipped up yeah. on us. Good thing we got those ones in the bucket. Yeah. So, uh, Jared, what beer are we drinking this week? Well, we've mentioned it several is... times on the show, and uh, I brought Bud, Budweiser, was... the original, well, the king the of beers, beer. not the original, but the original Bud. The king of beers, though. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's it's there. Not the jack of beers or the queen of yeah. beers. And yeah. Because because uh, Jared forgot to bring his bottles of Budweiser. I think Aaron and I have got the jumbo gas station. Oh, did you guys get those? Okay, yeah. <laughs> Not wrong with that. Man. Twenty-four ounce, so it's going to take a little bit of. A I bought a twelve pack, so uh, you know. Bit of drinking. Okay. <laughs> Let's pop it. Uh -huh. Nice. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay, Three, a twist top two, on these. What? On ah. Popping. Ah, it doesn't really pop too much. Yeah, yeah, I, oh. I almost used the mm. bottle opener because I like the chip sound. Hmm, tastes like America. But yeah, America. It's, it's like, like right It's like freedom and other things. It's not even owned by an American business, aren't they? Like, where are they? I don't know where I in, in, in InBev is from. Oh, uh, InBev, I don't know, but I know that. Is it Middle East? East? Game from St. Louis. No, I think these big brewery, brewery clon uh, conglomerates, uh, they don't really have a country anymore. It's like Europe. <laughs> well, but I still feel like the headquarters is not in America. I think there was a big a big up and comeuppance about the Yeah, it was a big comeuppance about the fact that Budweiser was no lo longer owned by an American company. Yeah, I mean, on, on the bottles, it still says St. Louis. Well, of it's course, probably, still yeah. right. of course it says that. I'm sure they still have that big old factory there, and it looks awesome. And oh yeah, they have the horses and all that. You know, a big old tourist trap. They make tons of money off of. They're not. They're not going to get rid of that. Uh uh Too much of a cash. Horse? Five percent in thinking. U.S., Netherlands, uh, uh, uh. Thailand, India, Canada. Four point nine percent bottle in Australia. Four point five in U.K., Ireland, Australia. Three point six percent in China. Interesting. Wow. I wonder if China has some like rural kind of like Utah, there. you know, you know, mm -hmm. that over 3 6. <sighs> Introduced in 1876. Yeah. 146 years ago in St. Louis, Missouri. 
That's kind of been around a, it's been around a couple <laughs> I wonder of what, yeah. I wonder what it tasted like before Prohibition, though, if it's one of those ones that changed, you know. Oh, right. That'd be kind of cool. <laughs> yeah. I think they did, because if I remember right, I read something that they actually, were in the like, Prohibition shut them down, so they had to, like, sell a good chunk of their stuff, and then it came back, and I think that it changed some stuff on it to get people back and running with it, but I could be wrong, though. I, I do remember for a while that they sell their, like, rice and barley yeah. and stuff like that for, like, food and stuff like that, because, you know, they just don't make money somewhere, but... I do think it's, it's interesting a... that they... um they put the rice as an ingredient on the front of the can because usually most beers that are brewed with rice, they kind of try and hide that away. Yeah. It's become not so uh, taboo yeah. anymore. Yeah. I think early on yeah. they they were just kind of hiding it and people just kind of slowly figured it out and it started attacking them. So they just had to kind of take it like, yeah, we make beer with yep. rice. It's this interesting. Ours. Budweiser may also yep. refer to an unrelated pale lager beer. So, like yes, in German, that, that Budweiser. Like in, huh. Uh, huh. There's a Bud. There used to be um, a Budweiser beer out of Eastern Europe. You could get it. You could get it in England. I think it was Budvar. Yeah, Budvar. Yeah, Budvar. they used. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. I love this. Beer. I remember hearing about that a long time ago. Yeah. I think this beer goes great with raw oysters. I like the salty that. and sweet. I think it's a great balance. Plus, it's kind of yeah. like southern in a way. Ever, I don't I'm think I've ever had raw oysters. Yeah, it's, it's clean I and easy going. It really is. It's a. It's, I definitely agree with Ian on the oyster thing because I, I feel like it's be perfect with that. But also, it's, it's a good standalone, honestly. Oh, no, it is for sure. It's nice yeah. to have on a hot summer day or I feel like a warm spring day. My only problem with the beer is that it's associated with like right wing douchebags and all their redneck bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, don't get that. I, I, I NASCAR, that. Uh, American flags, bald eagles. <laughs> Yeah, hey, nothing wrong with bald eagles. Yeah, there isn't, but like everyone, they, those yeah. have been like appropriated by a certain demographic that. Yeah. Oh, you drink Budweiser? Okay. You must be a bro or mm -hmm. something kind yeah. of thing. Yeah, that, that that pisses me off a little bit. I mean, it's like you, every single category of beer is associated with somebody. Like this is like this Bud, uh, Bud Light. Any cheaper beer is like you're just a redneck dingus. And if you drink like the craft beers, it's like, oh, you're just a hipster wannabe, blah, blah, blah. It's like, no, I just like this fucking beer. It's tasty. Yeah. God. Damn. So it's it's interesting. I'm I'm reading a little factoid here mentioning uh, prohibition earlier today. Uh, the Clydesdales actually originated because it was a gift to the father huh. of the company, August Bush, uh, in celebration of the repeal of prohibition. So that's uh, interesting. From 1933, when that originated, which is wow, uh, I which did is, not know that. Which is a good segue into the fact that like Budweiser has always had some pretty awesome commercials. Marketing has always been really strong. <laughs> oh, I mean, yeah. the Clydesdales oh, yeah. around the Super Bowl. I mean, the fro the Budweiser frogs. I mean, oh yeah, what is It'd the be too far to of... say that Budweiser is almost the McDonald's of beer? Yeah, I, but that's it, unfair you know, to say. Everywhere oh, yeah. in the world, and it's not. <laughs> not that's, that's not, not saying it's a bad thing. It's just. Uh... But I think it is. Because you're never so? going to, okay. you could measure, like, I think as a beer, like, if you were, like, in your garage and you came up with this formula of beer, like, let's say this beer didn't exist oh. right now, and you were in your garage and you came up with this, I think people would love this beer. You'd be like, what the fuck? Like, it was like, but, like, you come up, you, you, you give me, you come up with money. a fucking shitty fast food hamburger, and be like, okay, okay. But it's not like a McDonald's hamburger is, like, really delicious. It's just kind of no. I'm just saying right. you can get it everywhere. It's filler. And it, yeah, you can get it everywhere. Yeah, it tastes, that's the thing. It tastes good. But the quality is, I think, is totally different. In in a sense, I don't know. I feel I like know. what I think. I think what he's. I think what I gather when he said the McDonald's is like you could literally go anywhere in the world and ask, "What do you think of when you think of beer?" 
Budweiser's going to come out of a lot of people's mouths. Budweiser, Guinness. Yeah, I mean, they've the really got it. They've really got it down, uh, like brand recognition. If you ask nine, if you ask people to name a beer, this is one of the ones that's going to be like. Then I would compare it more to Coke. Than yeah, I would, true. Than hammers. Yeah, because yeah. at least Coke is a quality it's, soda, yeah. a quality. It's the- it's yeah. Coca-Cola yeah. or beers, isn't right. it? Everything else he's trying to... Yeah, yeah. That, that makes sense. And I, I don't know if I need to disclose that I worked for this company once upon a time. <laughs> Do you? <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I think know. if you currently work yeah. for them, you probably have to NDA yourself if yeah, you were but, uh, leaking secrets. But now, oh, yeah. Jared, you can tell us all the yeah. dirt. Yeah. Yeah. I, I got leak all the dirt. I got nothing, but uh, going How on the... How was it to pick all those little rice grains to go in? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I know, yeah. But we didn't had they... to do it with chopsticks. Was that the, still the same company, or had did they get sold at? I mean, wasn't... I, I left shortly after, maybe a few months after they were bought by InBev. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. My, but my uh, it, it was... My it itself. I don't know what's yeah. going on there. <laughs> yeah, that this is going down pretty quick. 5% but, uh, beer, yeah, the... easy drinking. Eventually, yeah, the company is... moved to a different uh, city, and eventually, it was bought by another company, the one I worked for. So that uh, this is strain one... of people has long gone. This is one of my favorite video game beers. Like, I'll get a twelve pack. Like, if we're gonna do like a gaming, like like last night and the night before, like I, I've been playing video games with Jared and and Ryan. Uh, this is just one of those like cool like. Oh. Like I'll drink this playing video games, and it's just like it's like it's like drinking Coke basically. Because I, I don't get like super <laughs> fucked up. I do that, but I get a nice buzz. It's a yeah, good beer for to, that. You have to drink a lot of it to really yeah like feel it. The you next have day. to drink a full twelve. Because it is because it it's quite light. It's not got not in a bad way. You don't it's, feel. Well, yeah. it's like it's like all my beers, Stella, mm. Budweiser. <laughs> I'm a five percenter. You, you, you know. <laughs> In the no, past, I, I drank many pictures of this, so yeah. There is a uh, lot to be said for drinking. a like four and a half to five percent beer. Right. But I've said it before in the show. You know, I I love the act of drinking. So like, I love to drink. I'm like, I like having. I like the action. I like drinking. So like, when I have, when you know, you 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 have like hot venom or something, and you like to drink, but. You're pounding uh, like once you hit three of those, you're like, oh shit, I can't even. So for those suicidal listeners Move. out there, <laughs> venom is now Don't available in a 19.2 ounce can. I saw those. We were at, <laughs> the, we were at John's and Market and it's like, oh, boys. tall boys. It's like Jesus Christ, what the fuck tall are they trying to do? That's so... <laughs> I almost got one of those at a. I almost got one of those at New Seasons the other day, but I'm like, mm, yeah. do I want that right now? No, no. I'm That's almost now. like. <laughs> That's almost like three uh, 12 ounce cans of this. <laughs> yeah. It's silly. Jeez. Yeah, it's like two. Yeah, that's mm. insanely strong. Holy shit. So, but no, this is this is going down faster than I expected it to. I'm almost gone. Yeah, like the, <laughs> yes. the, the Coors <laughs> original, the Coors Banquet that we drank was much more filling and uh, it is much different in flavor. Uh, very uh, yeah, I prefer the different. flavor of this oh, over yeah. Coors Banquet. Like, but this like, is way right. like, easier to drink, too. I like the creamy. It, it's it got like a little bit of a softer edge to it. It's not quite as... Yeah. It doesn't leave a, oh my god, what the fuck did I just drink? Taste yeah. in your yeah. mouth afterwards. Like, oh, yeah. this is delicious. It's like yeah. it's scientifically proven to just like keep drinking. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. But uh, shit, yeah. so my relationship with this beer is interesting because you know, I grew up. My dad didn't like Budweiser. He was like he was more of a High Life. So High Life was his beer, or yeah. hand, I mean, he was a shit okay. beer drinker. But then growing up, you know, yeah. and then in in college is mostly hard alcohol. And then Budweiser was always perceived as this like mm-hmm. gross, disgusting beer. And then uh, certain people just like sh- looked down upon that beer. And I have a video of somewhere on my Facebook. Like, it was recent when I had my first fucking Budweiser. I mean, it was like five years ago, I think. I had oh, my wow. first Budweiser. Five years ago? Yeah. I had never. Huh. There's a wow. video at my other house, the house I rented. Brendan and I is like, I mm-hmm. bought a, I bought like a 12 pack of Budweiser. So now I'm going to try this beer for the first fucking time. I should post that video somewhere. I'm, I'm sure I have no, it somewhere. No, I, I know what you mean, though. Because, like, when I was in college in England, you could get Budweiser. But hardly anyone drank it because it. it was the same price as mm-hmm. Stella. Right. And, you know, it didn't have, like, Stella was seen as quite a, you know, uh, yeah. upmarket Fancy beer. beer. Yeah. But I remember drinking that for the first time. I was like, I was just, like, blown away by, like, the flavor profiles. Like, 
I don't know. I just like, oh man, this is a great fucking beer. I don't understand why. Really, I get, I get, it's easy drinking, but like, I think it's a great like for someone. I don't know. It's a, it is a really it's nice, underrated, and it's got a bad log, unfortunately. You you were going through a lot of this after your first one. I know you were buying it pretty often. At that I was point. buying it a lot. Yeah, I was like, wow, I'm yeah. really into yeah. this. Uh, yeah, but you know, you know, it is what it is. I mean, like, and so that that kind of opens the door. Like, I mean, I like these type of beers this is my beer you know the lager pilsner area this is your style this is my area and then to finally like taste this one and be like well i see why this is so popular i can see why this is so fucking popular is this not bad it's actually really quite good (laughs) right and it's been good for so long i can understand why people there's a backlash to it or why people i get that but like and that's fine. They're the king of beers. They can take that shit. There's, you know, you don't have to drink their beer. They make so much money. I mean, they own every other fucking beer right. too. So, <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. But yeah. In the future, there will be one brewery. <laughs> but I just, yeah. I just feel like, you know, I was like, I'm glad I finally like, you know, got shed that bullshit. Like, oh, it's a ghetto, you know, redneck beer. It's like, you well, know, you just kind of, you know, taste it, and then it's like, well, wow, that's really good. So. Well, that's the thing. It's like it's. It's oh, it's underrated, and it, like you said, it has a terrible, re- not terrible, but the best reputation because every person who generally drinks it is generally an asshole who is <laughs> has shitty ideals. Oh, it's not oh, shitty, oh. but like completely different. Oh. <laughs> well, you know what? Also, you know what's funny? Yeah, I was watching. Asshole, that's shitty ideas. <laughs> that's not what you say. I was watching Parts Unknown, no, no, the Anthony. Different people. I was watching Parts Unknown, the Anthony Bourdain show. Uh, it's like back around the same time, and. I, uh, that's about the same time, like five years ago or some shit. Uh, I just remember watching that, and right. like, uh, I can't remember the name of the cook, but he took him. He took Anthony to the Waffle House. He, he's he's he lives down in Georgia oh, or some Waffle shit. House. So he's like a southern, like crazy culinary genius. But he took it. He he took this genius. Took him to wa- the Waffle House or whatever it's fucking called, and they bought all this shit food because he loves it. And then after that, the next day they they're like cooking like crawdads or some shit. And oysters, or mm. I don't know, and he has. They're just drinking Budweiser, and it's just like, oh. that. It just feels like life, and it's like, I was like, fuck it, that looks cool. It sounds looks like they're having a good time. I'm gonna try Budweiser. I think that's really what I was like. Fuck it, I was gonna try Budweiser, and then it's like, yeah, okay, I get it, I get it, I get why the if not only it, but like with salty it. like with like like seafood, this all this salty because this beer is really sweet. I think. Like it's yeah, very, you go well uh, with su- any kind of sushi, like yeah, it's just like seafood. even like Sapporo kind of like that's why I think it because it's kind of a rice lager, and I feel like mm-hmm. it goes really well with like the salty. So it's like it, you know. So those kind of I love seafood and I love so. Anyway, so oh, yeah. I'm talking too much. I have a question for you, Ian. So uh, you, I know you like the Sun and the Steel by Robinsons, which is a sake lager. I mean, obviously, that's a different class of log because it's it's a lot more expensive than Budweiser. But all things being equal, if they were the same price and they were the same, you know, which one would you which one would you choose? That's a tough one because I feel like they fit two different classes. Okay, they that's taste no, they, their their fair. flavor profiles are so to me incredibly different, I incredibly different. Like, uh, mm-hmm. yeah, the sockiness in that lager is it, that one has more of a, a bite, little, you know. Yeah. Um, they're both really easy drinking, but it's a, you know, it's like, you guys, it's like talking to you guys with IPAs. I think IPAs all taste mm-hmm. kind of the same. You guys have a little more different, you know, a little different palate for that kind of stuff. Right. And then, yeah. you know, I have, I, I have this other. Sometimes it's what you're in the mood for as well. I mean. Yeah. Yeah. Not, I, I love, I like, I love hot venom, but I'm not, all, I'm not always in the mood for hot venom. Mm-hmm. Oh, right, right, Oh, right, yeah, right. you really yeah. have to have a you know, mood for beers. Oh, that is nine, be, be 9%, but then there's other IPAs that are less. That's like, I don't really feel like that now, and then other times I'm like, oh, that would be hit the spot. Like, generally, I'm always in the mood well, for Budweiser. I could always drink a Budweiser, but sometimes you want a little extra so, kick, and Budweiser isn't giving you a kick. Mm-hmm. It's just giving you kind of, you know, comfortable, delicious you know, lager, you know, but a, sometimes a you want to fall a beer and right. <laughs> but sometimes you want to get kicked in the face and, and you, you know, you do something <laughs> else. <laughs> and it's not even about like your preference or preference. Sometimes you just get burnt out on the fancy beers, you know, it's like, Oh yeah. Okay. Well, any beer, after a while I... drinking, 
Yeah, mm-hmm. it's like you get burnt out. And like, I can go have a cheap beer for a little while, reset my taste buds, and then come back. Yeah, no it's doubt. It's nice. Yeah, well, that's usually I you, I've you, got left of that big can. <laughs> usually, when I have a stash of beer, yeah. I always have some domestic or, or premium beer, or whatever, and then my oh, micros. How much of the since you bought can bottles of this, Jared? How much of this do you have left? Uh, less than half, probably. Okay. So he's been I mean, drinking. I, it? I'm not. Nice. I'm not a fast drinker. I bought it like two weeks ago. I, was gonna I mean, yeah, this, yeah. Is, this is the perfect beer. Like, if you've been on a hot, it makes me. It makes me happy because it makes me feel of think of summer and spring because yeah. it's kind of perfect beer after right. you know mowing the lawn or whatever and you want a nice refreshing mm-hmm. beer this is like this. it's like it's actually at that point where like you know you drink rainier or hams or pbr but it's like just above it's just a bit more filtered and cleaner so like you can really pound this one a lot yeah because and it's not going to like Kick, yeah. like fuck you over the next day you know oh, right. I, I, had, PBR, I don't have an I love the flavor of PBR but PBR like the next morning so dirty like someone, so dirty someone pile drive my head <laughs> yeah I don't, yeah, I don't I even like I, I, have I don't have one can for it to do that, that. And right. it, well, just like 15 minutes after a PBR your mouth tells you why did you drink a PBR Oh, it's, it's still good. there. It's yeah, good. pretty much. Well, you but about. then you look at your wallet and you go, "Oh, that's why I drank a PBR." Yeah, yeah, <laughs> precisely. I still have money here. <laughs> we should drink a we should drink a PBR on the show, and then wake up the next morning and rate it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, it would probably take like, more. It probably take, we'd have to drink more than one probably. But anyway, yeah. but it's yeah. funny, isn't it? It's like culturally acceptable to drink a PBR because there's no the connotations attached to that are uh, yeah, a right? little different to certain other beers i don't know that's so crazy yes it makes no sense all right well i'm done with mine yeah he's, he's... i i've done a few minutes ago i'm so. down to the last ounce two of that that big can so we're going we, we can watch uh dave down it down in one I, I was kind of hoping one of you would have bought one of those big old 32 ounce bottles or something like that. Oh, oh no. yeah, we don't have those over here. I haven't seen those in a while. Yeah, I don't know if they exist anymore. They probably do somewhere. I did get, uh, ID, I did get yes. ID checked, and and it came with a complimentary brown paper bag. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Nice. Did you have to pay? Well, over here we'd probably have to pay eight cents for that. Yeah, you would. Oh, yeah. You would right. but, uh, I yeah. stopped by the. I went to Fred's and they didn't have singles. They only had like six packs or twelve, yeah. but twelve, twelves. And I was like, hey, Safeway's hey. got the Safeway's got those cans. I know. Yeah, for some no, reason, uh, Fred, Fred's used to have like the big cans of like you know single serving cans of uh, most of the domestics, but they seem to have yeah. got rid of them. Listen, if you can't buy Budweiser, you're just in a place where they don't serve it because it's usually. (laughs) But you know what? I've never really seen it anywhere overseas. When we've traveled, unless we go to like some place like, uh, uh, what is it? What's the rock? Hard Rock Cafe or something. But like just going into like a little like grocery, they never have. I mean, I don't know. It's funny, you know. I used the only time you'd see it, they, they would every. Two or three years, they try and push it in the UK, and it would never quite gain that much traction. And then there'd be like a July Fourth Independence Day thing where you could get like Budweiser and a shot of Jack Daniels. <laughs> it uh, is some yeah. boss to like. You know what's funny about this beer is like that it's, in my opinion, and I think I don't know, Aaron, I think shares the opinion, but like it's kind of seen as like this redneck, hardcore, like right wing kind of. But like, it's such. A weak ass beer. You know it what is. I mean? Ultimately, it, like, why is it? Yeah. Why is why is it aura set around these type of people when those and that beer is not? You know, it's like it's like it's a it's almost a light beer. You know, it's so close. I mean, yeah. The why 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 is it associated with these type of people? Well, I guess because they're just weak ass bitches. Anyway, your politics I don't know. by Couch Cohop. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's about well, as far as yeah. we'll go. That's about as far, yeah. I, it's all good. Let's rate it. Let's rate this beer. I'm going to give a thumbs up because I like it a lot. Right. Yeah, so. yeah, thumbs up. I like it a bit. Um, all right, four um, thumbs up. Hey, the king of beers is the king, king of beer. It's the king of scores. Yeah. yeah. It's all good. Right? <laughs> Jared, what redneck-ass game are you going to pair this with? <laughs> well, I, I, went with I, I tried to think of the most American game I could think of. 
How about the founding <laughs> of our independence from Assassin's Creed 3? Assassin's Creed 3, a game Jared and I both didn't uh, like, really. Yeah, we didn't <laughs> like it. <laughs> but it is so in it's like it gets four thumbs up, but the you know the game is yeah, it, gets, yeah, the game. it gets one of the least liked uh, Assassin's Creed games. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? The beer will probably help you play it. Let me be honest. Like you'll yeah. like, you'll probably like it a lot more okay. if you drink some Budweiser. I should have drank more while playing it. Maybe yes. I should do a Redux and uh, yeah. just drink heavily yeah. during you Assassin's right. Creed Three. Left. I got Get the remaster. I the remaster in the fridge because I bought the season pass with Odyssey, so I got the remaster free. Oh, okay. I should play through right. and just get drunk. Uh, drunk yeah. playthrough might be fun. Dave, <laughs> what beer are we are we drinking next week, or in a few minutes, really? <laughs> uh, well, if we're gonna drink some old speckled hen. Old speckled hen. Yep. I have, How dare I you call your some... old lady that? Oh my god! <laughs> from from Moreland in the UK, it's one of the most pop, one of the most popular bitters in the UK. And uh, oh boy, I've never pre- had this premium one. bitters. It's kind title. of like you know, okay. it says pale ale on the can. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So are bitters are bitters in the UK the same as a pale ale over here, or is it different? Bitters are kind of. Catch all for anything that isn't locked. Oh, as I, got as you. I can okay. tell. Okay. Right. You know, anything that's got any kind of hops in it that you can taste. This is a beer locked. you really love too. Yes. Mm, okay. Yeah, I got it on tap, and I I really like this beer. Okay. Um, it's. I've seen it a lot. Possibly at Columbia. Every so yeah. I, it's one of those beers I get whenever if I'm feeling a bit homesick, and it's. Aww. But it's a it's a good beer. Cool. Awesome. We'll, we'll talk com- about it more anyway. That's coming yeah. up. Yeah, we got another episode. Well, for you guys Man. on Twitch, you're going to get them back to back. For you on the podcast, yeah. you don't get it until a about. week from now. Next that's why. Week. That's one reason you should come check out twitch.com slash thecouchcoop show. And you can come Whoa. see us behind the scenes and talk bullshit and then also oh. drink beers and all this cool shit. Yeah. 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 <laughs> well, that, that book like that. went down smooth. That was, that was it did. good. Uh, let's see. We have uh, went, yeah. you can find our podcast on iTunes and Spotify and all that shit. You can go to Twitter. Uh, what is it? Couch underscore hop. Some shit like that. I don't know. Look for us. We're, yes. we're, we're a couch. We have a hop on our couch. Couch co hop. We, we drink beer. Uh, we really like to hear from you. You go to our uh, anchor.fm slash the couch co hop show and you can leave a voice message. Leave a voice message. Talk to us. We'll put, well, we will 100% put your voice message on the show unless it's on like fucking show. racist or it wants to kill people. Like, other than that, we're 100% put it on the show yeah. um anyway he's loving brotherhood that's us <laughs> uh till mm. next week uh stay drunk uh drink lots drive stay just, but but drive safe drive, yeah, yeah. Uh, what is it drive. drink responsibly drink responsibly drink responsibly guys <laughs> <laughs> used to stay on the Budweiser bottles once drink a excellent time. with uh, each other yeah drink excellent <laughs> with each other funny <laughs> Thank you, sponsor, like, for, for, for. That'd be great. Yeah. Uh.